Hey guys, I'm SKV and you're watching SKV Plays On and welcome to another video of Dauntless. And in this video, I will be talking about how to get a mechanical arm. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like it a bit more, please do subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let me get straight to the point. I found out a way of getting a mechanical arm for your character but there are some conditions as you can see I have a mechanical arm but conditions apply so here's how it works pretty simple it kind of depends on the transmogs that you're using as long as you have this particular set the pirate set from the hunt pass which you get uh, at the beginning itself on your first rank you'll be getting the hunt pass uh, the pirate set the whatever uh, it's only showing the name of the hat but if you get this on the hunt pass the elite track of the hunt pass if you're able to unlock the first rank you'll be getting the pirate set uh, transmog for your arms for your uh, torso for your boots for your head or helmet you'll be getting this particular pilot set uh, transmog for the armor once you get that make sure you have the arm transmog on once you have that just before the hidden blades happen last time the fifth one happened the fourth one gives you this particular costume or transmog the uh, barbarian look or the conan the barbarian look completely if you have that that's when you'll be able to use this particular mechanical arm and you will be able to get the mechanical arm otherwise pretty much your mechanical arm is gonna be hidden by other outfits it's not gonna be seen as you can see your mechanical arm is not seen oh except for this one too oh if you have even this one it works uh if you have done the third hunt pass season and you have this costume unlocked you can have that or if you have the founders also you can have that and anything with full sleeves is not gonna let you show the mechanical arm it seems oh if you have the ninja one also you can have a mechanical arm okay you know what maybe you can find some other sleeveless oh there we go check this out I think all the transmogs which don't have a left arm sleeve you will be able to use the mechanical arm and see the mechanical arm otherwise the sleeves are gonna cover it up and you will not be able to have a mechanical arm pretty cool right anyone and everyone can get a mechanical arm doesn't matter I was really thinking that you have to have this particular outfit but nope anything that does not have a left arm sleeve you will be able to have a mechanical arm but you should make sure that you have the high skies hunt pass season reward from the rank one make sure you have this rank one unlocked on the elite track and get the arm set or the pirate uh, costume set for your transmogs and also make sure you have a transmog orb or cell or transmog core otherwise you won't be able to transmog it to other things I mean like these things not these things these things which are there in the game might cost you one transmog core so keep that in mind anything with a full sleeve not gonna give you a mechanical arm anything without a sleeve definitely gives you a mechanical arm but you should have the arm part of the transmog which is this one as you can see it is a mechanical arm uh, but I'm pretty sure many of them may have not noticed this so I thought I'll just make a small video of this and then I'm making a video of this and also I'm kinda gonna go do a, a heroic plus patrol with my mechanical arm now uh, I don't know what I'm gonna be fighting right now but I'm gonna go see if I can get a match if so me and my mechanical arm are gonna go fight a behemoth right now as long as it's not a shroud I should be okay because I'm using rift stalker weapon right now and this is my build 
pretty much have Conduit, Iceborne, Knockout King, Overpowered, Rage, and Wild Frenzy. I went back to my previous build. I used to use like a Rage Hunter instead of Knockout and Overpowered. I used to use a Rage Hunter and then Predator builds. Then I realized why not introduce my Stagger build like how I really like my Ice Ward. Uh, build with the stagger damage and a lot of uh, extra rage damage also. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. I'm going up against a Reza Kiri, which is opposite elemental to my Rift Stalkers. Umbral damage, so definitely helps. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I'm not wearing any Radiant. Oh, come on. The barrel is glitched. Otherwise, it would have looked nice. That looks kind of weird, me rolling on a glitchy barrel. Anyways, uh, here we go, where is it? Not here. And also, this is a pretty good build. You could kind of use it for a uh, trial normal run also. I, don't, I wouldn't suggest you to go with this build against a uh, dauntless level difficulty of the trials. The normal difficulty, the first one is okay, you can go for it. Go with the team, go solo, it's pretty good. It'll keep the speed up with the Wild Frenzy and then keep the damage also constant. Uh, the problem with the higher uh, level difficulty is that it gets too crazy. And I have to get my health down to 50% as usual. There we go, what the... Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that hurt a lot. See what I mean? Look at the speed on this thing. More the speed, more the amount of damage I'm able to do and also cause stagger damage. Yeah. Ow, that hurt. Plus I'm not using the usual uh, shotgun type of uh, thing. I'm using that one which creates Aether Vents. So that I'll get extra power. See what I mean? For a few seconds of course. And I'm able to do that. Oh, I did not see that attack coming. But I did dodge it though. Oh, I need to... Would you look at that? No potions used, nothing. I got it done within... I spent a decent amount of time running to find it. Oh, 316, not bad, right? A Razakiri run 316, that's actually pretty good. Uh, do try it out. Uh, do get the mechanical arm and also do try out the build. It's pretty good. Uh, I would recommend you use it for the normal trials if you want to go solo, if you're good with it. If you get used to the moveset of the Neizaga in the solo, I mean in the normal version it's good. But for the higher level I don't know if this is that uh, good of a build because your health is going to be low, below 50% plus the Neizaga at level 22 threat is really like a... Uh, Probably like more of a gigantic truck that hits you. 
you don't want to get hit by the truck. It's really hard. It hits really hard, so. Anyways, that's about it. And uh, that's my uh, mechanical arm that I can use to do the drunken fist. Bam. I missed. Anyways, uh, you guys have a good day. And uh, thank you for watching this video. I just wanted to share that I got a mechanical arm. And I wanted to show off how to make sure you also can have a mechanical arm. All you have to do is make sure you do not have a transmog that has sleeves. And you should be able to have this. Uh, but using the one which gives you the pirate uh, torso, that one has sleeves. So don't use that one. The left arm sleeve should not be present. And you'll be able to have a mechanical arm. That, that, anything. Uh, just wanted to share this info. If anyone likes to have a mechanical arm. I don't know. It just looks pretty awesome. So I thought I'll just share this video. And also share my build. And that's about it. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, keep smiling. And I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, sayonara. Atata. I'll say yo. Uh, let's just... Get some rum. Bam. A whole battle. Yeah. Anda. Well, see ya. Have a good day.